Hello my dear students. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss MCQ for state estimations PSOC subject. Question number 1. The objective of state estimation is to obtain the best possible value of bus voltage magnitude and angle. Option number A. Question number 2. The most applicable state estimation algorithm is Option number C, weighted least square. Option number C, which is our correct answer. Now, question number three. What causes imperfect measurement of power system data? So our answer is A, that means error of instrument. Option number B, data loss in transmitting. transmitting. Option number C, failure of measuring instrument. So our answer is all of the above. Option number D. Now, question number four. The output of state estimation is used in economical dispatch and security studies. Option number A, which is our correct answer. Now, question number 5. As per least square estimations, the estimated value of X is represented by inside the bracket where Z is the measurement vector and H is the linear relation between Z and X. So, our answer is option number B. Now, question number 6. In least square estimations method, the weightage of error in measurement vector is equal. Option number A. Now, question number 7. Which estimations method is best suitable for state estimations in a power system? So, the answer is option number C. Weighted least square estimation. Now, question number 8. Weighted least square estimation is more accurate than leads square because weighted on each error is defined and using uh, use during estimations so answer is option number a now question number nine for better estimations the covariance of the error of estimation is high option number a now 10 number power system having n numbers of buses the state variable x may be defined as n minus 1 numbers of bus voltage angle and n numbers of bus voltage magnitude. So our answer is option number B, n minus 1 comma n. Now question number 11. Redundancy of state estimation is 1.5 to 2.8. Our answer is option number C. Question number 12. The problem of state estimation is non-linear option number b now 13 number state estimations of power system is solved using both a and b that means our answer is option number c now question number 14 power system state estimations non-linear equations delta z is equal to h delta x plus r where delta z contains all the bus and line active and reactive power change option number a which is our correct answer now 15 number power system state estimations non-linear equations delta z is equal to h delta x plus r where delta x contains all the bus voltage magnitude and angle change estimated option d which is our correct answer now 16 number which of the following case is considered for state estimations for power system? So our answer is option number C, either A or B. Now 17 number, in only active and reactive power injections, 2N numbers of elements of measure, uh, measurement vector Z is used to estimate 2N minus 1 number of elements of state vector X. So our answer is option number B. Now 18 number. State estimations of power system by only active and reactive power injection is same as load flow study option number A which is our correct answer. Now 19 number. State estimations of power system by only active and reactive line, uh, line flow have good redundancy if power system has enough number of transmission line which have 2 meters at 
each end of the transmission line. So our answer is option number C. Now 20 number. For state estimations for only active and reactive power injections, the active power injections measurement vector is defined as option number B which is our correct answer. Now 21 number. For state estimations for only active and reactive power injection, the reactive power injections measure, uh, measurement vector is defined as which is defined as option number A our correct answer. Now 22 number. The solution of state estimations in power system is affected by so it is affected by yield conditioning, uh, computer storage requirement and time requirement. So our answer is option number D all of the above. Now 23 number. The condition number 4 gain matrix G is defined as option number B ratio of largest to smallest eigen value. Now 24 number. The gain matrix G of power system becomes more ill condition if the condition number is increase in number option number C. Now 25 number power system is divided into three subsystem uh, sub to reduce computational burden in state estimation. So option number A which is our correct answer. Now 26, uh, 26 number to derive external equivalent uh, equivalency of power system the subsystems are defined as internal, external and boundary. So our answer is all of the above A, B, C which are our correct answer. Now 27 number. The method to find bad data detections is option number C, G square method. Now 28 number. Identification of bad data is done by calculate the elements for error in the measurement vector option number A. Now 29 number suppression of bad data is done by selecting estimations index function as non quadratic option number B. Now 30 network observability is defined as to check the given measurement data is sufficient for state estimations option number C is a, a, a correct answer. And last one, 31 number, the network is observable when the rank of Jacobian matrix H is equal to capital N. So our answer is option number A.